And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Gusty northeast winds really cooling things down today compared to yesterday, but that northerly wind is going to turn back to the south tomorrow, and that means we're going to warm back up. Here's a look at your seven day temperature trend. We're going to see highs getting back up into the 60s, close to 70 on Tuesday, and then we'll kind of see a mixture of some 50s and 40s as we wrap up the work week and move through this upcoming weekend. Right now, temperatures across northeast Wisconsin are all over the place. We've got 39 degrees in Kiwani, but it's 61 in Watoma. It is 40 in the Marinette Menominee area, but it's 54 degrees in Anago. We had a backdoor cold front drop in from the north during the morning and early afternoon, and that frontal boundary continues to slowly work off to the south and west. Currently in Green Bay, we've got sunshine mixing with some high clouds. The temperature is 49, and we're looking at that gusty northeast wind coming in off the bay. In Appleton, lots and lots of sunshine out there. It's a little bit warmer. It is 54, with winds gusting out of the north and east over 20 miles per hour. Here's a look at Storm Shield radar showing quiet conditions across northeast Wisconsin. Here in northeast Wisconsin, and that frontal boundary came through with just some patchy clouds and a wind shift. But up to the north, there was actually some accumulating snow across the western UP. Here's the satellite picture this evening showing the cold front. Kind of a kink in the cold front here as that cold air accelerated down Lake Michigan. That cold front then extends off to the west to our next weather maker, which is an area of low pressure now developing downwind of the Rockies. And this system is just going to kind of slowly work east here as we head through the next several days. You can see a sharp temperature contrast here from north of the front to south of it. North of it, mainly 30s. South of it, we've got 60s and 70s. And that frontal boundary is actually going to start to lift back to the north as we head into tomorrow. And that means our winds will turn to the south. So we're going to warm up. Most of us away from Lake Michigan tomorrow we will see highs in the lower to mid 60s. Skycast shows quiet conditions overnight. We're going to have a lot of clouds out there. And then as that front lifts back to the north tomorrow, we can expect partly sunny to mostly cloudy conditions. It will be dry as the front makes its way through the viewing area. And then on Tuesday, we're going to watch a mixture of clouds and sunshine gradually give way to clouds and then a chance for some showers and maybe a thunderstorm as we head into the evening hours and on the other side of that front on Tuesday it'll be even warmer with temperatures away from Lake Michigan mainly in the 60s to around 70 degrees. So your forecast for tonight calls for fair skies. Those winds will start to diminish and slowly switch around to the south and east as we head towards daybreak. Overnight lows will be in the 30s. Tomorrow we can expect partly sunny to mostly cloudy conditions. High temperatures will be in the 60s and once again instead of a gusty northeast wind we will have a gusty southeast wind, which means it'll still be cooler near the shoreline of Lake Michigan. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 64. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to the community pantry of Pulaski. And we did that yesterday. I forecast 65 and the actual high temperature was 64 degrees, 69 on Tuesday. Mostly cloudy skies, a chance for a late day shower or storm, a better chance for some thunderstorms on Wednesday. Then behind that system, we will cool down with a northeast wind again on Thursday, a chance for a couple of showers and then cooler than normal temperatures as we move through Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Another system moves in for next weekend with a good chance of showers and thunderstorms. At least the sun is out today, right? Yes, <laughs> and this was our fourth straight weekend yeah. with at least one really nice day. And for some of us, we had two really nice days this weekend. So spoiled. All right. Well, Cameron, thanks so much. All right. Severe Weather Awareness Expo, our own Cameron Moreland was